At first read, Deuteronomy 25 may seem unrelatable to our time and culture. Laws are given regarding corporate punishment, a verse about muzzling an ox, marriage obligations of surviving brothers, wives not interfering with their husband's disagreements, and two laws regarding justice. But there are tremendous lessons in these laws as they really center on living lives of integrity, simply doing the right thing by those in our lives. What's interesting is that Moses opens by sharing that if punishment is required, it should be carried out fairly, appropriately, humanely. But at the end of the chapter, listen to what he says in verse 19. Therefore, when the Lord your God has given you rest from all your enemies in the land, he is giving you as a special possession, you must destroy the Amalekites and erase their memory from under heaven. Never forget this. Now you may ask, what is this about? Why is Moses calling for fair and just treatment for some and for the Amalekites? Erase their memory from under heaven. Well, historically, the Amalekites were real people who really hated the nation of Israel and sought their annihilation. In fact, the last mention of their line is found in the book of Esther where Haman, a descendant of the Amalekite king Agag, conspires to have all the Jews in Persia destroyed. But there's also a spiritual reason. In 1 Corinthians 10, Paul says that the things that happened to the children of Israel are examples for us to learn from. And the conflict between Israel and Amalek is a picture of the battle that Christians face every day, the battle between the flesh and the Spirit of God. And just as God told Moses to fully deal with the Amalekites, so too Romans 13, 14 tells us today to make no provision for the flesh. See, we're not called to flirt with sin, but to put it to death, to put to death those things that seek to bring death in our lives. You see, the lessons from Deuteronomy 25 for us today are clear. Walk justly, with integrity, but also walk in purity. Don't compromise with sin. Make no provision for it, but confess it, repent from it, and walk in freedom with Jesus.